Hi everyone, it's Miss Debbie. How was your week? Ah, we finally had warm weather. Sh shout at me if you got to go out and play in the sprinkler or the pool or got wet outside in your bathing suit. What a beautiful couple of days we've had. So good, so good. Finally, it's May. Well, we've been talking about Jesus and now that we Easter people have Jesus resurrected on Easter morning, we know that he's visited a couple of times with his disciples. Our story today is on our map. We've started to tell the story of, of Jesus in Jerusalem and, and on the road to Emmaus, and now we're gonna travel all the way to the Sea of Galilee, where we're gonna tell a story about fish. Who likes to go fishing? Anybody? Have you been fishing? Have you eaten the fish that you've caught? I like fish. They're a little slippery. So let's uh, tell a story about fishing. Let's get started. After Jesus was brought back to life on Easter morning, he appeared to his disciples a few times. This is the story of the third appearance by Jesus near the Sea of Galilee. It happened this way. Peter, Thomas, Bartholomew, James and John, and two other disciples were together. Peter finally said, I'm a fisherman. I know how to fish. I'm not sure what else to do. I'm going fishing. And the others followed him. So they went out and got in the boat and fished all night long, but they didn't catch anything. Early in the morning, Jesus stood on the shore, but the disciples didn't know it was him. Jesus called out to them, friends, have you caught any fish? No, they answered, nothing. Jesus said, throw your nets on the other side of the boat and you'll find some fish. They weren't quite sure, but they did it anyway. And when they pulled that net up, there were so many fish in there, they could hardly pull it into the boat. Then John said to Peter, wait, that's Jesus. As soon as Peter heard him say that, he jumped out of the boat and into the water and swam toward Jesus. The other disciples followed in the boat, towing the net full of fish. They weren't far from shore, about a hundred yards. When they landed, they saw a fire of burning coals there with fish on it and some bread. Jesus said, bring some of those fish you've just caught. So Peter climbed back into the boat. And brought some fish. Jesus said, come and have some breakfast. None of the disciples could believe their eyes. It was Jesus. He came, took the bread and gave it to them and did the same with the fish. This was the third time Jesus appeared to his disciples after he was raised from the dead. When they had finished eating, Jesus said to Peter, Peter, do you love me? Peter said, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said, then feed my sheep. Then Jesus said, follow me, love each other. That's the way people will know you are my disciples. What a great story again, right? such so many fish they had so many fish and what a really uh great message for jesus follow me feed my sheep love each other those were his important messages for the disciples and for all of us as he knew that he was going to leave soon so i want you to remember that the the words are simple and you can do them every day follow jesus love each other, take care of each other. And that way, people will know that we are the followers of Jesus. 
Let's say a prayer. All right. Ooh. We have everybody at the campfire today. Hold your hands. Hold your hands. Everybody ready? Okay. Fold your hands and let's say a prayer. Jesus, thank you so much for the ways and that you visit with us every day when we when we talk to you, when we follow you. Help us not to go fishing. Help us to remember to follow you and do the things that you ask us to do, to love God, to love each other, and to let other people know with our behavior that we are followers of yours. All these things we pray in your name. Amen. I hope you get to get outside and maybe have a campfire now that it's getting to be summertime and look forward to next week because, wow, a special thing is going to happen next week. All right, take care. See you next time. Bye.